Hello, we're starting from Bereshit again. And it's a t- nice time to think about ideas that we take them for granted, but we don't always pause to think about them more in depth. The, we, it's a known concept that in Yehadut, the day begins from the night. As it says again and again and again in our parasha, Vahi Erev, Vahi Voker, first the evening and then the morning. Yom Echad, the day begins from the evening. But why is this? What does this come to tell us? Reb Tzadok HaKohen Milublin explains that it's not just the Pasukim, Vayhi Erev, Vayhi Voker, Yom Echad, but it's the whole story of the creation of the world is built that way. V'ha'aretz ha'ita tohu v'avohu v'choshech al pene tehom. And only then, Vayomer Elokim Yehi Or. When do we start the story of creation? Do we start the story from Vayhi Or? That is when the creation began. Or does the creation begin? The darkness is part of the story. And many times when we want to do something new, when we want to go through a process of renewing ourselves from doing something new in the world, it comes from the place where a person realizes that something is missing. We're missing something. We're missing, um, we feel darkness. We feel that there's a need for something in the world, right? The, the, what causes inventions is necessity. If a person realizes that something is wrong, that something is missing, that in a certain, in a certain aspect, the world, my surroundings, Myself, we're in the darkness, so that can lead to Vayhi Or. The same way, Hakadosh Baruch who created the world started from the nothingness. There was Tovavohu. There was a need for a light, and that's when the light comes up. The beginning of every process starts from darkness. Reb Tzadok HaKohen Milublin emphasizes this again and again in Zidkat Tzadik about the importance that. Many processes start first from the darkness, from the feeling that we, we are in need, in even a certain amount of despair, where a person realizes that there's a big problem. And only from then you can get into the light. Sometimes Hashem leads you to the light. Sometimes Hashem gives us the ability to create the light on our own. And then we can restart from Vayi Choshev to Vayi Or. We just finished the Yamima Noraim and Chagei Tishrei, and we spoke a lot about tshuva. We know that Bemakom, we know that Baalei tshuva, the Gemara says that Averot Nasim Zchuyot, that the transgressions become somehow mitzvot. I think this can be explained according to what we just said. The darkness is what leads the person to the light. If a person, because of those Averot, a person felt in what problematic place they were, what, need, what things need to be fixed? In what places do I need to be, renew myself? I have to start again. The darkness is part of that process. So since I, was, I turn this darkness, the darkness, a person can just stay in the darkness and be in despair and be stuck there forever. What the Torah is telling us is take this darkness and feel it. Realize where you're in need, where there are things that need to be changed, and then say Vayhi O. Then you can change it. Then you can lead it to a new place. We say Kriyat Shema in the morning and in the evening. Why do we start? In the, we say Kriyat Shema in the evening, of course, first, B'Shoch B'cha Uvkumecha, to tell us that in the darkness, we have to have this hope and faith that we can make it to the morning, that we can turn the situation of the nothingness of V'choshech Al Pnei Tehom and turn it into a, a reality of Vayehi Or. We can change things. And I think that, as I said, coming from Chagei Tishrei, when many of us had new ideas, what we're going to do different in this year, what we're going to renew, it come, if we come from a place, if we really identify with the darkness, with the problem, if we really identify the need, so then... Be'ezrat Hashem, with faith in ourselves and faith in the siyata di Shemaya that Hashem will help us, we can actually bring a new light 
And the same way Hashem said, we can say, Vayhi'o. Shabbat Shalom.